Hey, good morning. Happy Mindset Monday. Happy Martin Luther King Day. All you guys grinding at work, or maybe you guys already have the day off, so I just wanted to welcome to a Monday. Alright, so Mindset Monday. What is Mindset Monday? Mindset Monday is a time that we just take time, maybe spend maybe a couple minutes, and we just start to kind of get our minds right for the week, get our mindset right for your morning. It really is the, it's the capacity of just sitting down, or it's the ability to sit down and just focus on what we need to focus on. And the first thing that we need to focus on is we need to focus on us and how we're going to approach the day. Majority of the time, let's say that we wake up really early or whenever we wake up, our first thing to do is get up. Once our feet hit the floor, we just start running. And a lot of us, me totally uh, included, hence why I've developed this, is we're just scattered throughout the entire day. Like we're scattered when we get up, we're scattered till we uh, get home, we're scattered maybe to the point where we put our head on the pillow, and then our mind still starts to run, 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 continuing to run, right? Um, so today, we wanna talk about this. We're gonna talk about patience, and patience and hard work, and simply this, you guys, I kind of, Brit looked up the definition of patience, and you guys, uh, I, I posted on this, is it's the capacity to accelerate, accept, or tolerate delay, trouble, suffering, um, without getting angry or upset, patience. So I'll tell you a little, little story about myself and the wisdom that I was received just right at the get-go when I started um, with my business. I reached out to a, um, a couple gym owners and uh, I just asked if I can just pick their brains and they're like, yeah, sure. So I came over and this was um, Dave and Nancy Werner and they're the first people to open up an affiliate, the CrossFit affiliate. So Greg Glassman started with CrossFit and then Dave and Nancy were working with Greg and then they uh, opened up the first CrossFit gym aside from the original CrossFit gym, if that makes sense. And so as we work as affiliates, um, there's about 10,000 now, just to be kind of like open about that part, right? Uh, just to create an understanding. So they were the first people to do this. So mind you, so I'm in Seattle and I'm sitting down with them and the, the thing that they said this is Davis says, you know, be in it for the long run. Um, don't expect your gym to grow really quick um, because a lot of people kind of want to jump ahead really quick and they want to have themselves established right away when it's a slow grow. And so at the moment of the time, I mean, I remember writing it down and taking that mental note and saying, okay, okay, I'm going to take it, take it for the long run. I didn't know what that meant, to be honest with you. I didn't know what the uh, be patient with. I didn't know um, or be in it for the long run. I didn't. I didn't really know. I, they'd been open since like 2003 at the time, and I was talking to them in 2009. So you know that's like six years of them being open, and I'm now eight years into it, and I totally get it. And and here's the thing. As you work hard, as you cultivate, let's call ourselves farmers. No matter what you do, you're cultivating your crop. And just like anything, you got to plant your seeds, you know, every season. And as you cultivate that, as you uh, nurture it, as you take care of it, um, it starts to blossom. And so here's the thing is that when you nurture what you're doing, you're, you're, you're staying in it for the long run, right? You're doing the work maybe at school. You're doing... Um, the work by uh, maybe you're, you're studying a certification or maybe you're just learning um, on the job training or you know kind of fill in the blank of what it is is that the day that you get a job or the day that you start to pursue something you're never going to like have success overnight you know how some people say like they were an overnight success I don't think that's true unless somebody's out there and they've totally seen something that's overnight success but uh, one of the guys that I look into, his name is Eric Thomas, and he's like the guy, my go-to motivational guy. Um, so if you ever um, haven't heard of him, uh, just YouTube Eric Thomas, total stud. Um, 
But his story is so incredible. He, um, he, has, he, has, he started, you know, like pretty much a rebellious teenager, broke off, ran away from home, was homeless, lived in a warehouse. Um, and now fast forward, you know, now he's a successful motivational speaker. But he'd, he'd got his act together, had a real strong mentor in his life, started going to school, really started pursuing school. And then he started speaking. So as time started to go on with this, and this is over like years, um, he did this one speech, right? And it's called like, you know, you want to succeed, you want to succeed as, as hard as you want to breathe. And that video went viral. And that is how he got on the map of a lot of people, you know? Maybe if you haven't heard of him, then, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't gone that viral, right? Um, but I would check him out because there's a lot of really good stuff that he's he's putting out. My whole point was is that he was not an overnight success. He'd been like doing his motivational speaking. He'd been pursuing you know his success just in general of, of his life with his wife and his family and whatnot. But it's just the patience, you know. It's the patience that um, not everything is going to be 100% up the whole time, right? There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs, you know? Um, there's people in our community, I said like Randy uh, Zandona was, is watching this. I think Randy, you're still on. Um, he's got great stories, right? He's a guy that I, that I grew up as one of my, my friend's dads and then one of my friends. And just seeing him uh, have like knee issues and then come back from knee issues and then... Yesterday, I still see him like, you know, walking up Everett Memorial Highway and doing all his big hikes. Um, and so, you know, it's like being everything for the long run, you know, when it comes to a friendship, when it comes to anything, being it for the long run. And so as we just kind of start our day, just remember like, we're in it for the long run. Whatever we're pursuing, whatever we're striving for, it's not gonna happen all today, right? But here's the thing also is that when we are being patient, when we are on mission, you know, this is, this is assuming that we're on mission and we're moving the direction that we are desiring to pursue, is when we're side by side somebody, and not saying that we're competing against people, but if we are side by side with someone, is that we will always win, like it's inevitable, we will always win as long as we stay on that path because not everybody else has that mindset to stay in it in the long run, right? So, um, if you don't, you know, get your business off and running successfully right away, you just have to remember, it will happen, right? If it's not happening today or we're not getting there today, it's just because it hasn't happened yet. You know, I said this earlier in my, in my 6 a.m. class is, Remembering that whatever you have on your heart, any desire that you have, it, it didn't just happen, you didn't just make it up. When we have a desire that's put on our heart, and depending on kind of where you're at, you know, so um, it, it's a desire that God has put on your heart, it's a, it's a, a passion, it's, a, um, it's, it's, it's a, a focus that God has put on your heart, to get there, you know? So if for me, you know, I wanna be a very, I wanna be a very helpful person, you know? I wanna help people through their life. I wanna help people through fitness. I wanna help people just through overall life stuff. And that didn't just, I didn't just make it up. Like it wasn't like something I was like, hey, that sounds cool. It was something that I have deeply had a passion for and I want to share experiences that I've had and I want to get experience, right? I want to seek wisdom from people that have gone before me and as I get seek wisdom from these people that have gone before me, I then get to share their wisdom with people that haven't had that opportunity to get that type of wisdom, right? So one of the times, and I'm saying this because of, of because Randy's on, is you know we went and hiked uh, Black Butte and the, our, my neighbor, our neighbor in the, in the, in the, in the neighborhood, Mike's, Mike Silva, we all went and hiked up Black Butte. Now, mind you, it's about a three, I think it's like a three hour hike up and then you walk back down. 
But the entire time, and these guys are like 20, 25 years older than me, is I'm just picking their brains on just regular stuff. You know, like just life stuff, like dad stuff, husband stuff, you know, dad stuff husband stuff you know like and then just life stuff you know I'm just, I'm just I just want to know I just want to know stuff you know like you know what do you do now like what, what's your mindset like you know like how did you prepare this and so um, that's a big deal that's a big deal and so as uh, as you guys pursue your thing remember it's there for a reason there's a desire a want to do that for a reason and don't believe it's a fluke that that's why it's on your heart. Um, it didn't just pop up. And so just remember that once you start to pursue, again, it's just taking that, taking that decision to say, I'm gonna do this. Once you start to pursue it, don't stop it, right? Don't stop it, don't get frustrated when things don't go 100% your way and don't stop it when it looks like um, the, the world is saying it's not, it's not a good thing for you to do. Like for example, you know, let's say like you're going to, um, oh man, I'm trying to think of a really quick example. Um, you open up a shop, you've had this deep desire to open up your shop, whatever it is, if it's soap, if it's um, a smoothie shop, if it's uh, whatever shop, let's just say, right, you're just this awesome baker and you open up your bakery and a car comes through the front window, like immediately, some people would look at it like this. Oh, I guess, I guess that's the world saying, or the, the uh, yeah, that's the world saying, I, don't, I shouldn't be doing this. Like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. You are supposed to be doing what you're doing. Just because something bad happens doesn't mean it's not, you're not supposed to do it, right? So um, my stance, you know, is I just, I have a, a deep belief in God and that God, um, puts stuff on my heart and God provides and, and some people use it as, you know, think of it as the universe of, you know, so like in the big picture of it, you know what I mean? The big thing is just remembering that there is something bigger than us and if we're not there, we don't, we don't believe that, like that's okay, but just remember like something was here before us and if we can kind of just think about there's something bigger than us, then I think we're okay because there's so much details of everything around us, there's probably something bigger than us. But my whole point of it is, it's just remembering that there is something, there's a desire that was put in you and don't ignore it, all right? And then as you pursue it, once you decide to pursue it, stay the course the entire time and do not give up, okay? I hope this was helpful today, you guys. I enjoy you guys tuning in, checking out. Um, have a great Monday. You know, some of you guys have the day off. Enjoy your day off. Some of you guys are at work. Enjoy your day at work. Um, and as I close, be that person. Be that person that people love to be around. Be that person that just get encouraged just because you are around. And uh, don't get down, you guys. I mean, if something's not going your way, I get it. I totally get it. Like, I, I totally get that, right? Um, acknowledge it, right? But let's not hang out in that, right? Uh, Get that chin up, have a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.